All right. Ready? Sure. 10 bottles of whiskey. They're kind of, listen, they're not hyper available everywhere. No, but we have seen them in the recent past uh, in our own outings, like going out and about, not really hunting, but just finding them. You might sneak into a little store. You might peek around a little bit with your little binoculars on and you might find one of these 10 and we think they're worth buying if you find them. Always. So, number one, we were just at Total Wine in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I they had like a that. bunch of Rebel 10 sitting on the bottom shelf at retail. I had my head down yeah. and you flipped that like right over and just yeah. clapped right in there. Um, I was out and about and I just found a bunch of Calumet 16 not that long ago. They had Sam Houston 15 next to it. Um, but I mean, this one was fantastic. 106 proof, 16 years old. What's not to love? Rebel 10's good, wow. dude. Rebel 10's such a sleeper. Was this Barton? Yeah. Yeah. Really Cherry Barton though, which is super weird. Like, Cherry Barton doesn't seem like the it norm. so good. Calumet 16s. Now listen, all the batches of Calumet 16s, uh, people have like different opinions on them. Yeah. The batches that we've had of Calumet 16s, we've loved though. Um, The normal Rebel, I'm, I'm on the fence with as a weeded bourbon goes. The Rebel 10s though, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Every time I have one, be it blind or just drinking it, yeah. super good. Rebel 10s, I like. I like how we're now pitching each other's products. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah we, bo we both really like Comic 16 a lot. Yeah. Rebel 10 used to be like hyper hard to find in lotteries mm -hmm. allocated. Yeah. And I feel like nobody talks about it. And it's was literally a lottery. Holy moly a what? cannoli, dude. A lolly lorry? It was literally a lottery bottle. A lot of L's. So many. All right, next rendition. Oh, I just realized I have. Yep. Yeah, you do. I was Burai. Now the old ones, though. Here the go. new. Now I do think that 2023 Burai, 2022, whatever year just that we just reviewed, I think it's the best one ever. That one is fantastic. New label, phenomenal whiskey in it. You on can, freaking point. You can find the old ones though. Like in, in shops where people don't hunt for whiskey, you can find old High West Burrys yeah. and they have really old whiskey in them. They're really good. Um, You know, I can make people mad. Kentucky Owl. Specifically like the Bash 3s. Um, threes were still are really, easy really to good. Find. And they were still the $200 price tag, not the $300 yep. that the price uh, of the Batch 4 was. Um, Dan recently just found a batch two not that long ago For down in Florida. Bucks, bought it. And two was his favorite. One was, was my favorite. One was two, was yours. two was my favorite. So I was super happy that he bought it. If I ever find a batch one for $200, I will lose it. This is actually a batch two. That the batch two and three, which is what you'll normally find now, is the three specifically, but price hike went on the final batch mm -hmm. or whatever it was called, batch four. Yep, the final batch. And oh, so all good. of the owl rise were good every yes. one of them whether it was your favorite one or not all the owl rise we liked all four of them that 100%. being said finding like an this is a long time ago now yeah. twix i was already out like this is i a, just found a three in the same place that i found a bunch of other the place i found the buchanan's uh pineapple, pineapple yeah that was at the top shelf so i didn't buy it. um this was sitting just down like a normal bottle very accessible yep two hundred bucks. Yeah. One nine nine nine. I'll, the rise are so listen they're the hammers. bourbons the newer bourbons are kind of like they're expensive and they're whatevers yeah i bought as soon as i saw a batch of for 200 dollars. i bought it as soon as i don't as I think saw we've it. had a bourbon since batch eight and i think they just bought it like 12. yeah they will not they're still doing them without dixon so yeah. Not yeah. the same. These are easy, to, or these are findable though. Especially if you stumble in stores that like, don't look like you'd hunt at, you know what I mean? Hey, while you're here, you should like and you should comment and you should subscribe. It's free and it helps us. It's very beneficial. We love you. Why are you blinking so much? My next one, dude, I just, you know, let's switch it up a little bit. Oh, you wanna go extensive? Just like the last one? Yeah. You know what? Angels Envy Cash Drink. So this is a $200 bottle. We I like don't those. think a lot of people buy. We like those. Um, generally, these sit on shelves. We can go around usually even in our area and find them because they just sit. It's a 200 bottle. Because they're expensive. It's a $200 bottle yeah. of Angels. I think now they're like 250, 225. But people whatever. look at them right next to the $60 bottle. Yeah. Same bottle shape. You get the little case. Last year's case was phenomenal. But, but there's not a big upsell on the package. It's a cast strength. But the whiskey in it is phenomenal. It's yeah. one of my favorite yearly um, releases that's like a finished whiskey. Yeah. 
Just they so seem good. to be basically completely unfiltered as well. Oh like, yeah. Like some of the, especially the older ones, I have a 2016 somewhere, this is a 17. The, honestly, some of them just have big chunks of char yeah, in them. Crazy, crazy amount of sediment. These are really good though. Um, I think the 2022 we have is a good amount of sediment. Yeah, too. relatively fine. It sits fine behind level. me on the live stream shelf because it's one of my favorite bottles. Okay, not every orphan barrel on planet Earth was great. And Sean may have given this Fable and Folly Orphan Barrel release a low grade. Yep. Somewhere around a C. Was he wrong? 100%. This whiskey's fantastic. It's a burr It's 14 year old is the minimum age in here. And it's What's like, price tag? <clears throat> like 150. No, it wasn't. Yes. 135, I think, for real. Get out of here. I bought my backup one for 150 in town. This is a findable bottle of whiskey. Why did I think they were way more than that? I don't know. That's a good question. But I bought this, I just recently, like within the past few months, bought a backup of this and I left it in the bunker. I'm gonna keep it in the bunker for a long time and just open it someday when it's Solid old. Solid whiskey. But it's really cool whiskey. This one- 90 proof. Is really good. We've shared this with a lot of people, which mm -hmm. is why it's as low as it is. And every time you do, it's just Everyone cool, says, oh, wow, that's damn right. good whiskey. Yeah. Those are- all the orphan barrels, because some of them have been hit or miss in the as of late. Yeah, these are starting to sit more even early. So this is a buy. Right. That's true. Yeah, <clears throat> but some of them, though, some of the early orphan barrels were some the of the best whiskeys. The problem is when they hit. Yeah, oh. it's different. Yeah, yeah. Fable and Folly specifically, though, is phenomenal and maybe findable around retail. Too. Dave's drank like 19 bottles of Butterhouse. Give or take. Keeps drinking mine. No. I'm almost out. No, not no, not me. I don't know how many Reddit 22s he's put down <laughs> of mine and his. Oh, yeah. All right. Dart fourth. You know what? I'll uh, I'll change speeds to get a little bit cheaper on this. Okay, one. me too. <clears throat> Elijah Craig Toasted. I have seen this around a lot more yeah. lately. And we really like this. It's um, allocated for a while. But this is a really, really good product, especially if you are really unsure about a toasted bourbon yeah. or a, a finished bourbon at yeah. all. We love Fantastic those. Fantastic offering because yeah. you get that like nice caramel, marshmallow, double barreled like feel on it, and it's so good. It's fan. I think that Elijah Craig Toast Barrel is way better than almost all their core products. So, oh my gosh. Okay, these are gone. These High West double rye barrel picks that are finished in beautiful different finishes are all gone. They're gone. High West is no longer doing them. They've transitioned their entire barrel pick program into a cast strength of bourbon that's unfinished. I don't know if how I feel about that. If you see these, they're such a buy now. Yeah. Um, Sean and I were just hunting in Grand Rapids and there was $80 um, double rye finished in port barrels and I bought one. And it was a ruby port, so yes. which basically is a baby mid Kind of like a baby mid -winters. Yeah. These all, honestly, I've never had a bad double rye ever. No. I like peaty whiskey though. There's some scotch peaty ones, but yeah. most of these are great. Double rye finish are still in stores in certain places where mm -hmm. people aren't like consuming a lot of barrel picks. Yeah. And they're generally sixty to eighty dollars. They're all worth a buy. Well, rice don't usually sell as much, also so like a lot of the store picks true. sit a lot longer. Yeah. So you can go to a lot of different places and still get them. Yeah, it, they're usually a, a pickup for us. Anyways, and they're, they're like disappearing. Even without, yeah, like you, even without them going away, though, we yes. bought a lot of them when we saw them because we're like, usually always worked out to be good. I didn't buy a lot of these. I didn't buy very many of these at all. You think there's forty in here? There's definitely over fifty high west in here. Okay. And you've drank several. No, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, buy High West Double Rise if you see it. The American Praise are hit or miss. Those are the way The Double Rise are buys. Yeah. It's American whiskey. If it's a double rye, it's a buy. That's what they always say, dude. All right. Oh, Wait. wow. Oh, you saved the... You're an ass. You know that? Cheapest for last. Yeah. And uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, you're such a... Ah, we got a little plastic top. Now, hear me out. Yeah. I love it. I love it. this especially. We can still find these. These are findable. We still get I'm offers on your side on this. to this day of people saying in the state, hey, there's a store right down the road that have some of these. Do you want me to buy some? We went to a place not that long ago that was case stacked. 30 yeah, bucks these, these I, I could drive to a store right now in Michigan that has these on the shelf for like, now mind you, they're like 28 to 30 instead still of worth it. 20 24. or whatever. Yeah. Um, they marked it up. But the plastic top early times are findable. Mm. And mm. I know there's this huge argument. We're eventually doing this thing with stuff and whiskey about this. Plastic toppers. We're right. Yeah. 
the the metal caps have to be younger or batched differently. Yeah. Some I know it's the same. We all, we know we all know it's well, the same. Well, we know it's batch different. None of us are confused. It's the same whiskey. We know that. Yeah. What we don't know is who's blending it, how old the whiskey is, and that stuff. The plastic caps are worth a buy. Man, Sean some, and I truly gun, blind in an advent thought that this was like double digit age whiskey. That was one hell of a batch though. It was. That was, was the best batch but, that we've ever had. But that's that's real life though. All right. Ugh. The greatest bottle whiskey on this whole list. Mm. It, you know it's true. Mm. This would have this could have this would have been a top five or last year in whiskey of the year. Cool. WM Tar. This is a 12 year, this is called the inheritance. Very so, good. These came out, so I got a little confused. Sean and I were shooting Advent last year, and mm -hmm. in the blind, I had put, because I had found it last year, I had yep. put one of these in the blind. It actually did really came well in the, the blind. Came out the year before, <laughs> We found out that it came out, so we had to pull it from the blind for Whiskey of the Year. But these are very expensive. They're like 200 to $300 range. They're supposed to be 250 I think. Phenomenal whiskey, though. Honestly, it is 120 it's proof. It's 12 years old. It comes in this cool bottle, it comes with a box. The whiskey inside this bottle is absolutely phenomenal. This is my second bottle and I have a third. I just want you to know that. Mm. I, it's very important to know that that's know that? some, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's very important that you know that that is legitimately some of the best old whiskey you can still find. And I know that's expensive. Yeah. The price tag is really high. I bought this on a whim on a vacation because I wanted like a celebratory bottle. I never regretted it and um, got another one. And it's also old whiskey, I had to double check. It is old whiskey at a higher proof. Yes. So it's not like the Fable and Folly, which is older whiskey, but yeah. that's 90 proof. Yeah. This is 120 proof old whiskey, Yeah. which is fewer and farther between. It's getting harder to find that. Yeah. Um, it's from a legacy. I'm I'm 99% sure that's from a legacy distillery in Kentucky. Like 99.9% .9 sure. Tastes just like it. Don't this is don't quote him on that. Quote I'm not. I would bet, I'd be willing to bet money. Okay. I'd be willing to bet a bottle of this on it. Two hundred dollar bet, huh? Two fifty. All right. First one I bought was three hundred dollars. I was on vacation and it was like a celebratory thing, and I opened it you in my room. Thousand dollars in the bottle. Almost. No. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Oh wow, that feels way different Doesn't when you say it? it like that. Yeah. You're an asshole. You thousand dollars. You're a bad friend, bad. dude. You're a really bad friend. You're supposed yeah. to support my spending habits. Yeah. And you do that super <laughs> rude of you. I need a drink. Anyways, <laughs> that's our ten bottles. We think you guys can still find that yeah. are like little hidden gems. From time to time, you'll see one of these on it. One of these ten, you'll see on a shelf from time to time. Yeah. We just think they're buys. Mm, most of these, there. honestly, for real, most of these do not have secondary value either. No. Like that's the interesting part. Yeah. Most of these are shelf around within 50 of, like this was 275 yeah. or something, it's 250, whatever. Most of them are retail. They don't have a secondary value because great. they're findable. They're like, hiders. Like that's the takeaway. On they're them. hiders, um, dude. They're sneakers. Hiders. I don't know I like that word. I really I like why. that word. Hiders? Yeah. I don't like it. Ah, uh, well that we're got cut, junkies. but anyways, Dude. we're the bourbon junkies. That's our list. This is the best ball on the whole list. It's not even close either. I want you to know that. This beat, shit. This beat some shit in our end of year blind. Like for real last year. 